<laughs> Great night for college tennis last night in Austin as the number one ranked Texas Longhorns men's team won the Big 12 regular season championship by knocking off third ranked TCU in front of a record crowd at the Texas Tennis Center. The Horn Frogs beat the Longhorns two months ago to win their second straight indoor national championship. And as CBS Sports Texas photojournalist Bill Ellis shows us, TCU has become a national power under coach David Roditi, who arrived in Fort Worth some 30 years ago. I think I fell in love with tennis at a very early young age. It was my whole life has been all about tennis. And in his 13th season, a three-time All-American for the Horn Frogs from 1993 to 1996, your head coach, David Roditi. When I first got to TCU, it was uh, the fall of 1992. We had, a, we had a very good team the year before. They were ranked two in the nation. I was just very open-minded, ready for the next challenge. I was excited about joining a great program, being really curious about what Coach Bartson was gonna help me with. He was a, a legend. I'm surprised how many wins I have because I see how much, how much this, this class has won. Like with Sander Jong and Luke Fomba, and they've been here five years. And compared to them, they're, they're not even close <laughs> to, to breaking my record. So I, I must have played a lot of backdraws and consolation matches. So it's kind of funny. It gives me something to kind of jab at the guys and, and see if they can break it. But I don't, I don't know if they can break it. It's, it's, it's a lot of matches. It's a lot of wins. I remember driving from, from California, and I was right about Midland, and I was already officially the coach, but hadn't been on campus yet. I had to go back and get all my stuff. And I remember getting a phone call that one of our players had punched another student at a football game. <laughs> and I thought, great, what a great start. Uh, so that was, that was like one of the first things I had to deal with is, one of our strongest guys on our team just punching some, some uh, other student at a football game because he spilled his beer. So I thought, oh boy. The ultimate goal was always to win a national championship. And uh, it's, it's, it was what we knew is, it was a process. You have a game, you have your patterns, you have your favorite patterns, and you have a game that you like to do. We had to start wor with what we could control. Great slice, great slice, a little deeper than that, but great intention. And it's just been building every single player that's been here uh, forever has built as to what, what you're seeing today. What do you want to get out of today? What do you want to emphasize and focus on? I'm very proud that not only have we gotten the program to, to the top, but these guys have managed to stay at the top for nine years in a row now. That's uh, probably the best part about it. It's been the consistency. How were you holding it before? Too much? Too much hand? We've been very fortunate to, to have created a reputation through, through what our players are doing at the next level. Players like Cameron Nori, Alex Rybakov, Alistair Gray, Nick Chappell, Lee Stolder. We have built a reputation that if you want to become a professional tennis player, you must look at TCU. Right from the beginning, had a, had a vision of, of making our tennis center such a beautiful, beautiful tennis center and making it very welcoming and very inclusive in a place where people can can come and and have a have a good time, whether it's by themselves or with their families, with their kids. One day it was cold. I put it on. My my ex-wife said, uh, "You're not going to wear that on the court, are you?" And I hadn't thought about it, but since she said that, I said, "Yes, I am. Of course, I am." And that's why I wore it first time. And people spoke about it in, on social media. It was different, um, and um, so I said, okay, they're talking about it, let's do it again, and, and it just became a thing. And I heard the saying that players come and go, coaches stay, and it, and it just became the signature. Now I can't, 
I can't take it off now. <laughs> it's, it's, that, that, that ship has sailed. I also thought, you know, when these guys are so nervous when they're playing and they look over and they see this short Mexican dude with a cowboy hat on coaching tennis in the middle of a match, that's got to make them laugh a little. I mean, it, it is in a way a little ridiculous and different. So it's also a, sort of an underlying message to our guys that we're, we're playing college tennis. We're not, we're not doing brain surgery out here. Uh, so not, not to take ourselves too seriously. I like to believe that, that the future looks great. Uh, there is no reason to believe that it would change. At the same time, we, you know, I see other amazing programs with great coaches and they'll have sort of dips. We're just taking it one, one step at a time. I couldn't be prouder as an alumni and as a staff member to be here. More great work from Bill Ellis. And next up for David Roditi's Horn Frogs, the Big 12 Championships next weekend. 